After recently emerging from three years of recession, word that it would take up to 20 years to cut the jobless rate in half went over like a lead balloon here in Rome. The IMF report was front page news here in Italy, with the focus being on two numbers, the jobless rate at 12.4 percent and the growing debt pile, $2.4 trillion, that's a record, representing over 132 percent of GDP, the second highest in the Eurozone. The reality is Italy is not Greece, which has seen about a quarter of its economy wiped out. Nevertheless, Italy has seen its GDP drop by nearly 12 percent in the last seven years alone. The economic recession has been very bad in, in Italy. Probably Italy is the second worst performance after Greece. And, uh, you know, when people uh, uh, hear that they have to wait 20 more years to go back to their previous uh, uh, living standards, uh, it's not uh, good news. Since the economy is such a heated issue here, the Italian finance ministry responded to the IMF report suggesting the fund was looking in the rearview mirror and not taking into account the latest reforms. Economist Bori said that's a fair point. I think that uh, uh, the Italian ministry uh, is right in the sense that the reforms that have been implemented and those that are on the pipeline are going to be able to improve uh, uh, the growth rate of this country. And so I think that the situation will get better a bit faster. With growth of less than a half a percent and the cost of living rising, Italians are suffering from reform fatigue. And this is impacting the popularity of Prime Minister Matteo Renzi. In May of 2014, his approval rating was at 65 percent. The latest reading in July of 2015 is just 35 percent. So he's going on the offensive, offering to cut corporate taxes and property taxes as well. It's popular at home, but not perhaps back in Washington with the IMF. John Defterius, CNN, Rome.